special edition of today's video. This one's gonna be called Watch My Order. A lot of people ask us what we do back here. Where's the order and process? How's it made? How do we do this sort of thing? So this particular customer wants to know how we make these and we'll cut you in on this right now. Give you a behind the scenes look on what we're doing. What they want is a two rings and some hooks that they're sending to us. It's the overkill project of the day around here because uh, they only need to lift about 3,000 pounds. But we're putting some 10X on here and doing some I and I splices so they're end to end. Relatively short, and you're gonna see that in a minute, how we put all this together. In order to do these, what we actually come up with is what we call a, a recipe or a build sheet with our special nomenclature notes on how to measure everything, where to uh, cut it, how to mark it, how to taper this. So it's all written down and documented. And this is really the only way that you can do it so that we can get consistency over every splice so that every length is as close to possible as being the exact length as the next one and dialed into the specifications. Even if it's just a handwritten copy, we get it as close as possible. On this particular splice, they want some really rather heavy hardware on one end, actually on both ends. It's a little bit of a challenge to manage. So that's why we've got this card here to hold that in place and you work around it best you can. This tool right here is one of the best tools in the world for splicing. It's called a splicing wand. We use them all the time. And um, if you've ever used a tubular fid before, this makes life a lot better. And now another tricky part, because these are pretty short, we've got to do a crossover where the fibers are actually going to go in the middle of this rope in the hollow part and lay on top of each other. So we've got to feed one on top of the other. Don't worry, I'm an expert. I've done this before, but you get to see how it's done here. And if that one end wasn't enough, we have to put an even heavier hook on the other end. So it's double the fun. Now it gets even more fun. We've got the heavy piece on one end, the heavy piece here, and we have to put another leg on this. So it gets better. In fact, to show you how much superior the splicing wand is, just for fun, I'm gonna do one of these here with a, uh, a tubular fid. This is how we would have done it in the old days. It's not bad, but it's significantly more work in my opinion. Not my opinion, it's actually fact. This is a lot more work. So there we go, we've got two legs attached to this blue ring here. Each leg has a green hook on it. Kind of looks like a mess right now. You've got fibers sticking out all, all over the place. I'm not done. Um, we've got one piece coming in through the middle over that way, another piece coming in through the middle over this way. They lay on top of each other. That's called a crossover. And when this is under load, those crossover pieces will be compressed on top of each other. And that's where you get the strength on this thing. So you can pull it as much as you want to and they won't slide out of there. That's what the crossover is for. 
and it's critical on these short sections, which is what the customer wants. But just in case that isn't enough, I'm actually gonna stitch the throats here to lock all that in, even though it's highly unlikely that, they, that these would ever come apart. Once they're stitched, it's virtually guaranteed they're never coming out. Then we're almost finished here. We've got everything stitched. We have everything lined up. Uh, everything's in the right place. Now we're just gonna deal with all of this and we're gonna make it all disappear. This is where you really fine tune it and make sure that everything's the exact same length. And you can watch here how it's done. It's not nothing too uh, high tech about it. We're just gonna bury these tails in here. And even when I'm doing this now, they may not be perfectly the same, but we can fix that while we're getting these things tapered. Okay, those are perfect. Next step is tapering all this. Ooh. Kind of a tricky one, kind of a fun one. Definitely the overkill project of the day. So if this is your order and you know who you are, this is how it's done. Thanks for watching.